six years, I've been the general manager of a minor league baseball club called the Electrics. We play out of Great Falls, Montana, and are a farm club of the Brooklyn Dodgers. On August 15, 1950, at Legion Ballpark in Great Falls, Montana, after a couple of hours in the clubhouse office, I went up into the grandstand to call the groundskeeper. As I looked up, I saw two silvery objects moving swiftly out of the northwest. They appeared to be moving directly south. The objects were very bright and about 10,000 feet in the air. They appeared to be of a bright, shiny metal, like polished silver. Both were the same size and were traveling at the same rate of speed, which was much slower than the jets which shot by shortly after I filmed the discs. Suddenly, they stopped. I understand that something uh, rather unusual happened in July of 1947 at the base, and you were involved yes, in the right. flight. What, what happened that day that you recall? Well, they, we flew the, these pieces. They told us it was a parts of the flying saucer, and we flew from Roswell to Fort Worth. Uh -huh. And it, we started out, they told us we'd be going to Wright Patterson in, in Ohio. Uh -huh. And we got to Fort Worth and they transferred them to B-25. What, uh, what was it that was actually loaded on board that you saw? Well, we had uh, it's just packages and uh, wrapping paper. Uh -huh. And one of them was triangle-shaped, about two and a half feet uh, across the bottom. And the rest were in smaller packages, uh, about the shoebox size. Uh -huh. The triangle shape, is that an unusual kind of package? It seemed to be. Yes. And uh, and this was uh, brown paper on the outside, right, with tape. Uh -huh. And do you have? Did you actually load this stuff? Yes, right. What What was your feeling when you? Well, picked just like uh, picked up an empty package. Is that right? Uh, right. Very light. It's a long ribbon in the sky, a light ribbon. It shakes. <laughs> it's all segmented too. Here, slow down. Stop, 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 stop. Is there anybody behind you? It's a flag. It's a flag? Why is it all segmented? <laughs> what is this thing in the sky? Turn the radio off.
An eyewitness records this dark square-shaped UFO over Conyers yesterday. Heavy winds, but this object is not turning or rotating like a balloon, nor does it have stings, it's huge. Like a 727 in size, but I do notice a wobble to it slightly. Also, if you fast forward to the 118 mark the first noticed there are two UFOs there for about 7 seconds, one dark black square, the other is semi-transparent and far above it, but almost in the same position. Wow I really hope we get more footage from more people in Conyers. I'm sure others must have seen it, but believe it or not, only one out of six will actually think about recording the UFO on their phone at the time of any sighting. There must be more footage out there.